I first learned about Special Touch Ministry um, because I grew up in this ministry. My parents are the founders and executive directors, so uh, I never really had an opportunity to not be involved. Uh, but I got to a place where I wanted to serve because I wanted to serve. And I wasn't riding on the shirt tails of my parents' service anymore. I wanted to do it because I love the Lord and I wanted to give back because I'd seen for years and years the impact that it has. So it was a natural next step for me to get involved. I started at the age of 13 and never stopped. My role in Special Touch is really to just volunteer. I have lots of opportunities to do that, lots of different leadership roles that I could fill. Uh, this year, my main role is to be the recreation coordinator. So I help set up games for people to play, for our guests to enjoy, and that gives them an opportunity to connect with each other and to laugh and just have a lot of fun together. And those moments of fun, having fun, playing goofy games and uh, having lots of moments of laughter with their friends are what they walk away from camp remembering. They have lots of memories of camp, including our services, times in their cabin with their counselors, but those moments during game time when they're being goofy and silly and being able to let loose and just be themselves together with their friends is a really powerful moment too. And I believe that God uses those moments of fun and laughter to speak to his people and bring them together as a family. So they get to experience that. Really, a person with a disability should have an opportunity to try whatever they can and want to do. But that's often difficult. So at camp, we really want to give them an opportunity to try things that they would never try anywhere else. Rock climbing, playing soccer, uh, basketball, going tubing down a river or jet skiing behind a boat in the water, going on a pontoon, being able to fish. Uh, there's so many experiences that they can have at camp that they really can't have anywhere else because we cater to that. We want them to have those memories. So we, we, there's no obstacle. We make it work. <laughs> the mission of Special Touch Ministry is really just to serve. And of course, that would be what any ministry is around to do. Uh, so specifically, we want to serve the concerns of people with disabilities. But what's interesting about that is a person with a disability has the same concerns that everyone else has. We all need to be fed, we all need to be loved, we all need to be warm and safe at night. So um, that acceptance and desire for love is the same in a person with a disability as it is for me. So we can all come together. They love me, I love them. They serve me at the same time that I serve them. So it's really just being the family of God together. And I think that's part of the mission of Special Touch is to exemplify the body of Christ in its fullness. Every member is important. Every member has its role to play. We all give and we all take in the family of God, and that's the way it ought to be. So in Special Touch, we see that um, alive and active during camp, in every program that we, that we have, and it's often just those moments of sitting next to each other and sharing life. I really believe that God uses Special Touch to spread the gospel in personal relationship. It's those one-on-one -on -one moments that I think are the most impacting and powerful. And at camp, at, at Summer Getaway, we get a lot of opportunity for that. Every person uh, who attends as a guest has an opportunity to, to spend the week with their friends and their caregivers. And of course, our staff, although we all have a role to play at camp in leadership of some sort, we also take that time to sit down and share a meal or spend time together or play a game together. Um, and it's in those moments of connecting, looking each other in the eyeball, sharing life and memories and moments of laughter together that are so powerful. And that is where the love of God is shown more than anything, is just in the love and acceptance of one human to another. And then of course, uh, the gospel is presented in our evening services and our chapel morning services very clearly so that it doesn't matter who you are, what kind of disability you might have, um, regardless of what someone else might say you're able to understand or not understand, God speaks. His Spirit is present in every service, and that's very obvious. So we have uh, those moments that are special where the Spirit moves in ways that we can't always see, and you can just, but, but there's fruit on the outside that God is working in each heart. Uh, Special Touch makes disciples in a lot of ways, but one unique way that I have benefited from myself and also still enjoy to this day is our CIT program. 
CIT stands for Caregiver in Training. And this program is specifically designed for uh, 14 to 17 year old students who want to serve and give back in disability ministry, um, but they're just not old enough at being under 18 to be a full-fledged caregiver. And so we do give them some responsibilities and experience over the course of the week, um, but they're also, the program is guided. So they have mentors that help them learn what disability ministry looks like, the, the ins and outs of it, the daily tasks, and also the moments of of relationship that we share. All of that is exemplified to a caregiver in training through our program, but it's a unique opportunity for students to basically take a short-term missions trip in their own backyard. There's lots of ways to give back with special touch. Obviously you can pray, we always need that. Um, prayers make a really big difference. Um, you can also give. Special touch is a nonprofit organization, so whatever you give is going right back to people with disabilities in every way and also you can go. What an excellent opportunity. If you have been sensing that the Lord need, is challenging you um, to stretch yourself, come to camp, come get involved as a volunteer. I was speaking last night with a volunteer and she said she's gonna be stretched this week. She already knows it in her heart. I remember the moments that I was stretched, but that's where growth takes place. And, and when we allow the Spirit to grow us as people, His, His truth, is spread through our actions of love to others. So come get involved with us. I do what I do because it was modeled to me first uh, from my childhood. And I consider that an, a tremendous blessing that God put in my life. But I also had to choose for myself when I, got of, when I became of age uh, how I wanted to serve. And as I've grown in my relationship with the Lord and in my leadership skills, I've had lots of different opportunities. And still to this day, I try new things. I think one thing I value most about Special Touch Ministry is that it's unique. And people with disabilities are everywhere. They're in every culture, every, every socioeconomic status. Um, they're children, there's adults. They're in schools, they're in your um, communities, they're in your workplaces, they're in your churches, or at least they ought to be. Um, so find somebody with a disability in your community and reach out to them. Say hi. Develop a relationship. Treat them like you want to be treated because uh, we all need love and acceptance in it. And so in so many ways I have found that people with disabilities are really no different than I am. If there is a difference, it might only be on the outside, but our hearts are really the same. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.